Hi guys, welcome back to another market breakdown video. And then on this video, we're looking at USD CAD. So as you can see, I'm on the hour chart and then I've already analyzed it and everything. So stay up until the end so that you can understand how I'm going to take the trades to the downside just because we have some type of liquidity at the bottom around here. And then we have this demand area that we can look forward to taking as our take profit. So as you can see, the overall market structure is to the downside. So let me remove each and everything so that we can just analyze it together. So as you can see, around the top of the structure this area here we have been pushing to the upside creating higher highs and higher lows as you can see up until we reach this area here and then we created this lower low around this point here then after that that is when the market clearly pushed to the downside so you can just use like some type of a line like this and then just indicate that this is the bos and then another bos of which is this one here and then you can just also indicate that you have a BOS. And then this is the demand area that I'm talking about around this point here. Clearly around this point. And then as you can see on this demand area, we also have some type of an imbalanced price action of which it needs to be filled. So we can just use the IMB of which it stands for imbalance. And then we also have this area here also of which this one is also not imbalanced. And then we have liquidity here just because we have a triple bottom around here. And then you can just indicate that by using that. So that is how I'm looking at the USD CAD on the four hour time frame. And then on the hour time frame, that is where we uh, found this nice setup whereby we think it will play out soon. And then I was expecting it to play out like tomorrow. So we have this break of structure, current break of structure was below. And then what I like to do is that I'll just use my feed tool and then from the high, higher low to the lower low, as you can see, this is the extreme zone. And then this is a discount price that we use to uh, look for those selling opportunities. So around this point, we have this supply area. And then we also have the supply area of which is the extreme zone. And then it's also imbalanced around the top of the structure. You can just use IMP also just like this and then also this area here was imbalanced showing my group it was also imbalanced uh area on so as you can see this is the price action that we have and i'll just remove this area here so these are my two other blocks that i'd like to see the market tapping and then reacting nicely from so looking at the lows that is where uh, our targets are is because you need to find your targets before you can place like any entry so this is the IMB, this is the low point around chair, this is the liquidity that we're talking about, and then we also have the imbalance price action also around this point here. So we can initially look for those selling opportunities, and then initially here we have some type of a sweep of liquidity and all of that stuff, and then we push to the downside and create the big of structure. We also have liquidity running around this point here, of which it has been taken out, and then now we are currently here, moving to 30 minute time frame. That is where I'll refine these zones to the last candles. And then as you can see, this is the imbalance price. And then on this area, I'll use this blue candle. And then we we'll also have the imbalance price. So initially, the entries that we are looking for is this entry whereby we get a push to the outside and then push to the downside and come back and then we get that break of structure around this area here then we can look for that supply area mini supply area for us to look for those selling opportunities around there so this is a confirmed entry just like this and your stop can be just above any lower high and then you're targeting the lower lows or the liquidity that i was talking about for about nine percent and then the risk entry of which is at the top of the structure you can just put your sell limit and then your stop can be just above this point and you're targeting the same areas that you're targeting for about 12 percent so this is the overall entry or the trade idea that i have on most cat and then looking at the overall loans just because we can target the overall liquidity at the bottom it's like this this is an overall 17 percent move and then you can see from the back of the overall structure that it's still intact and then it might play out soon uh, than we expected. So if it plays out, then we're going to take the entry out of uh, our trading sessions.
and yeah i'll see you on another video i hope you enjoyed this one please don't drop a comment if you enjoyed it and then it's your boy see you on another one guys